Interfaces in Unreal are a really useful tool when you have two classes, let's say a custom pawn class and a custom character class. These two classes cannot be inherited from each other because a character is inherited from a base pawn and therefore cannot be inherited from a custom pawn. If you want to implement some common functionality with these two different classes, but because of the nature of them there is no inheritance, there is a really good way to do this that doesn't require the use of components, and that way is interfaces. Creating an interface is really simple. Just navigate to where you want to have your C++ class. We're going to create a new C++ class and it's not going to have a parent at the moment. Give your class a same name, so I'm going to call mine action interface as this is going to hold all the actions my characters and pawns can take and hit create class. Now that our C++ file has actually been created, we need to turn it into an interface. To begin with, what we're going to do is just declare it an U interface right above the class like so. And as some parameters, we're going to put in here minimal API and blue printable. This basically means that this interface we can use in blueprints and it's just going to take the bare minimum of the API to be used. The other thing we need to do is we need to make the class actually inherit from a U interface. So if we change it to a public U interface like so, it will now take on all the properties of an interface class. We also need to get rid of this a API class define if Unreal has automatically made that for you. So just delete that out and make sure whatever your class is called, it has a prefix of a U. So whatever it's been called, just put a U in front of it and then that should work. Now, this is going to be slightly different to most C++ classes. What we need to do is absolutely just get rid of everything inside here. And all we want in here is a generated body. Like so. We can save that now. And then the last thing we want to do is just do a hash include at the top here. And we want to add in an MC action interface dot generated dot h. So whatever the name of your file is dot generated dot h. I've accidentally put a comma there. Let me just change that. So now we need to actually make the interface itself. So we do that by call, making a new class, add in the API that you deleted in the class above. So that tends to be the project name underscore API after it. And then what we do want to do is want to create a class that is the same name as the first class we made and the name of the actual file you've created. But instead of a U for this prefix, use an I. So I put in an I and then I'm just going to paste in my actual name for my class, like so. I'm going to put some brackets in, do another generated body, like so. So now that that generated body is in, hopefully that means this compiles. Before you compile, you may actually want to go to your CPP and just delete these two definitions as they no longer exist. If we save this, and if now we compile, we should see we get no errors. Perfect, we've got no errors now, so we can actually start implementing the functionality. So for this action interface, I want this to have some functions that can be attached to any single character or pawn that I make that actually triggers an attack for them. So we need to make a function that is gonna be a virtual, and what this virtual means is that any other class that is a child of this interface can use this function and override the logic for it. The function isn't going to return anything, so it's going to be a void, and we're just going to call it attack player. It's not going to take in any parameters, and we just need to declare it like so. What you actually want to do as well is you want to make this empty. So a quick way to do this is just to add curly brackets here. This means we've now got a completely empty function and it won't run any logic at all. If you wanted to, you could also put this empty functionality in the CPP, but for completeness, I'm just going to have it put in the header. I can add any other functions that I want. So I could say defend player like so. And then again, just make sure you add in an empty uh, function call for that. 
So now if I go into my character, all I need to do to include this interface is first I need to actually include the file into the header. So just do that as you would any other header by just including the file path. So for me that is in MoodCorp interfaces slash MC action interface like so and, and the dot H and then what you actually want to do is you can now make this character class inherit from your interface as well as another class. Unreal doesn't support multiple inheritance it only supports this through interfaces. So what you need to do is do a public and we want to use the I prefix so it's going to be I MC action interface like so. Now what we can do is in the public we can just override the functions that we've made in the interface. So for us that was attack player. Make sure you use override and then we can do another one which will be virtual void defend player. Again make sure to put in the override. Just for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to make these two empty functions just to show that this does actually work. Let's build that and make sure it works. There we go, it successfully compiles. The beauty of an interface is that you can add this to any single class that you want, and you don't have to take every single function that's defined. So for instance, I can get rid of this defend player like so, save that, I'll build again and it will still work. There we go. If for any reason you want to make sure that there are functions in your interface that are always inherited, just make it a pure virtual by doing an equals zero in the header. And now when I compile, you'll see that the, the compiler is going to complain that I haven't included the defend player inside of this character header. There, you can see all the errors have now appeared. To get rid of those, I need to, again, just put in back in the defend player action and make sure I do the override and as well as the empty function and now when I compile the errors will disappear and it shows that I'm, it's working properly. And there we go. This is ultimately the closest thing Unreal has to multiple inheritance so it's a really powerful and useful tool. I would err on the side of caution and try not to use them everywhere and just use them where they're needed. But that is a summary of how to use them. So I really hope this video was useful for you. It was quite a code heavy one. I, this is quite an advanced tutorial. And um, if you need more resources or need any questions answering, please drop a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye for now.